For millennia, the Chinese calendar has observed the seasons with an annual cycle of rites and customs. Age-old festivals rooted in an agricultural past continue to bind modern Chinese societies. Now more than ever, Chinese festivals are valued as societal, cultural and economic drivers. And none are more revered than the 15-day long event that stops the world's biggest nation. Family, home and togetherness take center stage. As Chinese celebrate the Lunar New Year. China's rapid economic expansion has grabbed the world's attention. Massive investment in technology, infrastructure and industry is changing the face of the nation. However, the boom in business is being paralleled by a revival of Chinese culture. Traditional festivals are being rebooted, celebrated with renewed vigor and are engaging younger generations with their ancient culture. In China's capital, Beijing, it's the lead up to the Spring Festival, or Lunar New Year. The year's most important celebration of Chinese values and traditions globally. It's always been a time for giving. And an incredible 1.6 billion packages bought online are expected to be delivered this spring festival. Unlike most of today's deliveries, this parcel still has a long journey ahead. Design loving Coco and her equally creative partner, Akira, will use the contents to create a bespoke New Year's gift. Ah, I know what that is. What is this? It's a decoration for Chinese New Year. I got it from my mom. This Chinese decorative knot called Ji Xiang Jie, the lucky knot, is made from a single unbroken string and symbolizes good fortune, ah. happiness, and longevity. You see, all of them are like stuck together, so it means like everyone stay together, like harmony. And the color red is considered auspicious, perfect qualities for a New Year's gift. Maybe we can make something and hang this from it. That's a great idea. To find gift design inspiration, they head towards one of Beijing's most famous landmarks. The Forbidden City is the world's largest imperial palace. And this year is the first time it has hosted a large-scale display of ancient, royal, Lunar New Year artifacts. Emperors and commoners alike have long shared equal reverence for the Spring Festival and that's being represented here in historical displays. These 10-meter longevity lanterns are being shown for the first time in 179 years. And this augmented reality exhibition brings to life treasured historic paintings. They have to do a big performance over Chinese New Year, which is like this, ice skating, but with like sword and stuff. Pretty cool to like make an old painting painting just move like this, right? Using technology. Wow! 
息息相关的。那其实我们能够亲身体验到，哦，原来以前是这样庆祝过年，能够让人感觉到中国人原来对春节的期盼。Beyond the AR experience, Coco's attention is captured by a skill she practiced throughout her childhood. This is the Fu, which write by the Qianlong Emperor. He's oh. one of the most famous emperor in the Qing Dynasty. Fu represent um, happiness, good luck.写书法，你有的地方写的快，有的地方写的慢，其实这都是有一种韵味在里面的，就感觉好像好像跳舞一样的感觉。哇，Coco好棒哎，Coco。The Forbidden City is sparking their imaginations. But with the reunion dinner fast approaching, it's time to make tracks. Just over 300 kilometers away, Taolinping village feels a world away from dynamic Beijing. Yet the villagers here are also adapting to the times as they hold on to their spring festival tradition. Every year. 当时这个春节这几天，从初一开始赶到二十，哎，这段时间是比较最热闹的。以前我们村里边就是，每一家每一户必须要有一个参加这个节目的。以前家家户户都有，以前的气氛是相当好。现在就是，由于就是各种原因吧，工作在外边工作这些人啊，在外边住楼的多了，哎，在村里边人的少了。Villager Xu Hailong is keenly aware that his son's attitudes to traditions are being reshaped by changing technology. A generation brought up on smartphones and gaming have drifted away from cultural events like the painted-faced Shi Huo held each new year. So Xu Hailong and village elders like Master Xu are galvanizing young reinforcements to usher in this spring festival and many more to come. Master Xu is teaching 12-year-old Xu Guangchu and his friends an ancient martial arts-based performance, part of the painted face Xu Huo. The origins of painted face Shi Huo have been traced back to rituals that asked the gods for good weather and a bumper harvest. The boys only have a couple more days to master their characters before they perform before an audience from theirs and neighboring villages.
Wang Chu and his friends are the future of the painted face Shi Hua. But they still must prove themselves worthy of inheriting the legacy. Translated directly, Shi Hua means social fire, a clear reference to its origins when festivities within the community took place around a common fire. The context may have changed, but the social aspect of the festival is still relevant today. An unlikely priority for young Guan Chu as he prepares to take this tradition into an increasingly modern China. Across the Pacific Ocean, in New York, the Lunar New Year is a time for Chinese immigrants to reconnect with their cultural heritage. And in, of all places, America's largest art museum, Spring Festival traditions are passionately being passed on to younger generations. To share you the story how this 10-year-old boy growing up in Chinatown, going through all the holidays and little fun things that, you know, that he remembered. So that 10-year-old boy is me. Art director Kam Mak has been commissioned to design commemorative Lunar New Year stamps for the US Postal Service every year since 2008. Born in Hong Kong, Kam Mak grew up in Manhattan's Chinatown after moving to the U.S. in 1971. So when I first came to America, we started in New York City. That apartment right there is where I grew up, where the Q train goes by. That's my little lullaby. That's how I fall asleep, through that, the sound of the train. At his current home and studio, Kam Mak takes up the challenge of representing treasured memories of Lunar New Year on a stamp. I take most of my inspiration, at least for the, the image, for the stamp design, it's all from personal experience. In Chinese tradition, the three lucky bamboo stalks symbolize happiness, long life, and wealth. This one with, you can see the background, is the word folk in Cantonese, blessing and good luck. As a kid in Hong Kong, there would be these old men who had a little table outside, and my grandmother would pay her, I guess, a few dollars, and ask, please write me a folk, write me Sun Taik in Hong. And then my grandmother would paste it all around the house. Kam Mak is using a time-consuming traditional oil painting technique that builds complexity one layer at a time. It's this kind of progressively building up layers that makes what you see. The technique I'm doing, it takes a little longer. That's, that's right. Weeks later, Kam Mak stamps are released, raising awareness of Chinese culture and contributions in the U.S. And then you can see the red ribbon intertwining around the lucky bamboo. In Chinese, it's like relationship or family intact, togetherness. Thank you. The arrival of the Lunar New Year, an important cultural anchor for the Chinese diaspora, draws together three generations of Cam's family at his mother's New York apartment.
I still come here every week because my mother's still living in Chinatown. Sometimes I see people I recognize as a kid. It's refreshing when I see old faces coming back. A lot of fond memory. <laughs> the New York City Lunar New Year Parade, new memories are made as Cam joins the procession to showcase his stamp design. As a 10-year-old boy, I never imagined that I did a, a stamp for the US Postal Service and having to be part of the parade in Chinatown, walking back to the neighborhood where I first came to America is pretty special. Guys, get the stamp. It's out, the Lunar New Year stamp. So that stamp will be more than just celebrating the Lunar New Year. He also acknowledging to the Chinese American gave a lot to build this country. I hope that my generation and my kids generation continue the traditions that is so rich and so beautiful. Back in the Beijing basement workshop, Coco and Akira are handcrafting a spring festival gift for Coco's parents. Do we want to make it out of wood? Yeah, can yeah. do that. Cut this shape out of another piece of wood. Mm. Hopefully that doesn't go wrong. <laughs> this plus these two. Super lucky. Super lucky. Very good present for my mum. So this is my first time doing any Chinese characters, so it's really, really difficult. I just want Chinese people to just appreciate what I'm trying to do. Kira! Looks good, I think. <laughs> Chinese households have been pasting up Fu symbols during the Spring Festival since the Song Dynasty, which began more than a thousand years ago. Akira is aiming to take it up a notch by turning Coco's calligraphy into woodwork. It's looking really good. Is it? OK, yeah. good. And the, this bit looks like it's really handwritten. So red means really lucky and healthy and wealthy. Mm -hmm. That's why most people wear red over Chinese New Year. Oh, and also, if it's the year of your animal, you have to wear red underwear and red <laughs> socks and red pants, everything red. Chinese woodworkers have been revered for their skill in constructing buildings and furniture without the use of nails. But for this project, Akira is taking advantage of his trusty staple gun. I think it looks super good. What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. I'm very happy with it. Good. Hmm. <laughs> Impressive. I know, it looks really good. Family is at the beating heart of the Spring Festival, while China's economic rise has drawn many to its prosperous cities. This triggers the world's largest annual human migration as hundreds of millions of Chinese travel back to their hometowns. Amongst them is Ding Yong, who is on his way to see his father, in Xianyang City. Ninety-five-year-old patriarch Ding Sheng Tang is overseeing festive preparations as some of his other grown children adorn the house with New Year blessings. Uh, 
as soon as Ding Yong arrives, his father puts him to work. These lanterns are cultural icons that symbolize reunion and joy. The decorations will add a festive spirit to the upcoming reunion dinner. During the Spring Festival, Chinese families, wherever they may be, look forward to sharing a sumptuous spread of food at the reunion dinner. And there's no expense spared to make it a meal to remember. <laughs> Xiang Qing still gets to be the doted on grandchild. But there's no time to argue. Ding Sheng Tang has to hurry home to supervise preparation of the most important meal of the Lunar New Year. At the southernmost tip of the Malay Peninsula, the intertwining bonds of family and culture are on display. As cosmopolitan Singapore prepares for a celebration filled with pomp, pageantry, and its melting pot of diverse cultures. Today is the last full dress rehearsal that we are doing. So it's a very important day for all the dancers, all the performers. It's our last sort of dry run where we can make mistakes. These girls are amongst some six and a half thousand performers taking part in a multiracial spectacular, the Chinge Parade. Chinge translates to mean Zhuang Yi, the art of costume and masquerade. Are we ready? Choreographer Serene Tan and her mother, Madam Tan, are leading one of the youngest contingents at this year's Chingay Parade. I need to tell them that you need to feel proud of what we are doing. It's a very big role for this culture value. These dancers, some as young as seven, will have their skill and stamina tested by an elaborate reimagining of a traditional Chinese art form. Traditionally, the long sleeves represent flowing water, but Serene is using them to symbolize flower petals. It's the day of Singapore's vibrant Chinge Parade. The once humble street performance that has grown into a dazzling celebration that's uniting all cultures and races. Serene's girls are ready to join local and international performers before a sea of spectators.
only for a dreaded wardrobe malfunction to stop them in their tracks. If the dancer's headdresses fall off, the girls could miss their part in Chingay, one of the world's greatest street processions. Your headdress needs to be really secured. If it's not done properly, you might injure them. With just minutes to spare, a half dozen extra bobby pins secure the situation. They take a deep breath and line up for the parade start. In Xianyang City, it's a hustle in the Ding family to get ready for their reunion dinner. This custom reinforces family solidarity and cohesiveness. In the time-honored tradition, reunion dinner preparations revolve around the head of the Ding family, Ding Xiong Tang. <laughs> Ding Xiong Tang's family are all chipping in to create a banquet of dumplings, crab, stuffed cucumber, and so much more. They are even dyeing radish slices to create table decorations. Ding Shung Tan's grandson is making a video call all the way from Canada. Technology bridges the distances created by the global economy, allowing the most distant family members to join the celebration. <laughs> Before the reunion dinner feast begins, the family has one more tradition to uphold. The Chinese believe there is a continued relationship between the living and the dead. It's as if grandma can enjoy the dinner with them. In Chile Taolin Ping village, it's the day of a local highlight of the spring festival. A new 
generation of performers have been entrusted as custodians of the Shehua tradition. Stern and unyielding during training, Master Xu transforms into a totally different character as he readies his young performers. Taolin Ping village is renowned for its face painting version of traditional mask art. It's now over to a handful of kids to bring their characters to life. The painted face, Shi Huo, has a two and a half thousand year old history rooted in the worship of Shi, god of land, and Huo, god of fire. It's a ritualistic celebration now adapted for a modern audience. Young heroes take center stage. Wang Chu's father, Hai Long, is bursting with pride. Master Xu's generation, there is almost a sense of relief. Nearly 1,500 kilometers south, Taiwan's Yanshui district is counting down to a celebration that is also tapping into youthful exuberance. Wow! So, you Candy, a Taiwanese undergraduate, is about to brave possibly the world's most in-your-face fireworks festival. The Yen Shui Martial Temple, built during the Qing Dynasty, is dedicated to Guan Yu, the same Chinese military general deified as a god of war in the painted face Shi Huo. The festival begins with a street parade of giant-sized god puppets and palanquins, each carrying a small holy figurine. 
光炮呢，其实它是起源在于清光绪十一年，哦、就一八八五年的时候。一八八五哦。那时候的盐水呢，呃，发生了瘟疫。瘟疫哦。对，蛮严重的瘟疫。那呃，大概那就是这个瘟疫一直都没有办法控制下来。It's said that the plague subsided after a palanquin of Guan Yu paraded through the town and fireworks were lit. In today's festival, the fireworks have multiplied many times. That I have something to prepare first. So I'm going to attend the evening. Uh, of course, the safety equipment. Safety equipment. Yes, that is safety equipment. All is safety equipment. Yes. 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 装备吧，我还是不是要打身体啊？我不知道，我也很害怕。The festival is unlike any family-friendly fireworks display. The audience are invited to get right in the firing line. 啊，这鞋呢？这样用起来。Candy is dressed for the thrill of being blasted by thousands of rockets. 这样 OK 吧？可以的。你觉得这衣服感觉很像我要去北极了吗？我要热死了。就只有一个晚上而已。一个晚上。In the final countdown before the Rocket Beehive Festival。我没有上过战场啊。Candy and her friends are preparing for their baptism of fire。哦，我不会紧张啊，没有什么好紧张的。你怎么会觉得还好啦？<笑>我们在几公里外。我的朋友他戴了四分之三的安全帽，然后下面没有防护罩。那如果炮打到身上会往上冲，这样非常危险，而且这边就接近点，真的非常的危险。As families across China unite at reunion dinners. In Beijing, Coco's mum has been busy cooking up pork. Steamed fish, stir-fried prawns, and dumplings are must-have during the spring festival. It's a feast for Coco and Akira, who have brought their lovingly crafted spring festival gift. Hey, let's pay each other for. Come here, come. We're today going to do this. Wow! Oh, so nice. This I wrote. Oh, really? 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 中国文化当中应该是最具有代表性的、最喜庆的这么一个字儿了。我想把这个我们最心底的祝福送给父母。For Akira, this is the beginning of a lifelong journey of understanding Chinese culture. But I've never known closeness like Chinese families. It's quite a breathtaking experience, actually, when you when you step back and and look at it all. 挺好的 ，OK。Yeah。好看。Yeah. Showtime has arrived for Serene's young dance troupe. Jingge is about showing the vibrancy of performing arts. We also see many different groups from Singapore. There are people doing Hindu, there are Malay music, there are people doing Wulong, there are all kinds of things. So this whole... Diversity is an eye-opening chance for my students. And amidst it all, Serene's girls have won the hearts of the crowd. I feel very proud to have this girl. She can be a part of our Singapore dance. 
真的很幸运，就是觉得很幸运有我这个孩子继续往前发展我们华中文化。I think through Chinese dance, yeah, I want my younger generation, my children, children of children, to know what it means to be Chinese. It is beautiful and elegant. Can we please give them a big round of applause? Rocket Beehive Festival may be for the gods, but it attracts thousands of visitors every year. Revelers, however, must not block the gods from receiving the shelling. Doing so will not bode well for the new year. And his group tests the waters by first standing a car's length away. All up, over one million rockets and fireworks are lit during the festival. With the fiery projectiles rushing out like bees, giving the festival its name, the Yenshui Beehive Rocket Festival. Candy's group move even closer. With adrenaline pumping, they soon find themselves right in the heart of the rocket action. The Spring Festival has come to an explosive end, marking 15 days of joyous, colorful, and often noisy celebrations. 春节就是大家要聚在一起，因为可能平常大家在各个地方，然后生活、工作、忙什么的，等到春节之后就会有一个，就像国外会有一个圣诞节，然后放了一个长假，然后大家聚在一起，然后分享彼此的事情。On the surface, the many facets of spring festival celebrations appear as a colourful cultural kaleidoscope. But they also mark the beginning of the year, sparking a new cycle of celebrations throughout the world. This is the year of prosperity. Happy New Year! And as Chinese people rejoice in the current incarnations of festivities that reflect long-held values and philosophies, Ancestral traditions are preserved. Homage is paid to love and nostalgia. And family reunion is celebrated. These festivals may have originated as seasonal markers for an agrarian China. But the adherence to these evolving customs preserves the unique heritage continues to bind Chinese people today.